This is Don Nelson, I'm editor of the Additive Report, and I'm here at the booth of Race 3D at Fabtech. I'm with Mark Franz. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank Good. you. All right, hey, I understand that this is a brand new machine. In fact, this is the only second showing of it, it and this is an exclusive for the Additive Report. Well, what can you tell me about it? Well, we have been working on this printer for about two years. And so this is a, a new style of printer uh, as far as we're concerned. It's called the E2, and it's uh, an ADEX system. So if you look at the extruders, they're independent extruders. So you can actually do mirror mode. So you can print a left and a right in this printer, uh, or you could actually have the, the nozzles together, printing as a dual nozzle, uh, dual filament printer. You can also print two separate parts at the same time. So if you, uh, let, right now we're doing a mirror mode of these brackets, but I could print a mirror on this left, I could print the, bra the bracket on the right, uh, so it's basically twice as fast uh, because you're printing two pieces. Uh, you can think about the uh, foot industry. I can do a left insole and a right insole at the same time. Uh, this will print any of the materials that our Pro Series will print. So it'll do nylon, carbon fiber. Oh, it will high do temp. high temp uh, materials. It's a heated chamber, heated bed, uh, heated nozzle. So we can print 300 C or below. So that's 600 degrees. So it's got the um, it's auto bed leveling. So it has uh, 60 points where the computer will actually check for the level around uh, the bed, which has never been done before in 3D printing. Um, we, we put our control panel, we have a 64-bit processor here. If you lose power in the, uh, in the building or in your office, it will do auto resume. So it will start right wherever you left off and, and actually uh, we'll reheat the bed, reheat the nozzles, and then uh, continue to finish the print. It's got a filament runout sensor in it. it it's, uh, it's got the uh, sides, you have the, the filaments on each side of the printer. So here's your left side, and it's got a, uh, the right side. Uh, this, this printer for education is uh, gonna be priced at $29.99. So very inexpensive, um, and for manufacturing, it'll be $34.99 in the United States. You said that this is uh, for the education and uh, for manufacturing. Well, what kind of manufacturer would, would be small, interested in this? Small batch manufacturing, okay. prototypes, jigs and fixtures. Um, you know, the accuracy, the, these printers will go down to below 10 microns. Okay. So, so you're, you're extremely accurate. So when you look at an aerospace company that might be doing a test fit or a new product, before they, they'll go out to CNC it or go out to put a mold in it, uh, they're gonna want to make sure that those, those screw holes are lined up, that everything is lined up in it correctly, and that it's a good finished product before they go to, to uh, manufacturing. One last question. We're here at Fabtech which is filled with people that are involved with conventional type of manufacturing. Right. You're involved with additive manufacturing. Right. If you could say one thing to those people that may not be all that familiar with AM, what would you tell them? That it's probably, it's probably what the internet was when it first started. It's, it's a while, it's, it's gonna give us more flexibility and save more money because the traditional manufacturing is not gonna go away. But the, the Boeings, the Lockheeds, are finding out that they can save millions of dollars with prototyping and test fit. And now that now they're even coming to the point where there can be finished products. You look at Mercedes, for instance. Mercedes, we don't make a metal printer. Mercedes now, for their older parts, are not even stocking parts on the shelves anymore and have metal printers that actually print the parts out for the cars. So it is changing the world of how we look at going to market, how we look at rapid prototyping, how we look at custom just-in-time manufacturing. Um, it, it's, gonna, it, it's changing the world. All right. Hey, thanks very much, Mark. You're welcome.